What's up guys, this is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire and this is an hour special. So picking up where we left off, we fought and destroyed the garrison of Tangier and we are going to assault the city so that this army that may cause problems behind our lines is destroyed as the Moroccans are removed from the game. Lots of our, lots of our units to take a bit of a pounding so after this our units are going to need a bit of uh, time to replenish, however, they are significantly more damaged than I am, so let's take them out. Then after this, we will be tackling the enclave of Savoy, and we'll be marching in to destroy them, because we have four armies there. There, once we've cleared out the Savoy pocket, we can then ship them, probably, two of them towards... Maybe three of them towards India and one towards America. This is a bit of a terrible direction to attack the city, so we're going to attack from over here. Got one howitzer. Because we don't really have much of a much of a need to to uh, throw them off axis because they've not got that many troops. We're going to keep the bulk of our men together in order to better support what we have because we do not have great numbers for this either good job we did change as well because uh looks like they would they would be attacking on our flank let's get our lone howitzer see if i did it in time no oh i wanted to try and hit the uh camels in the center looks like i did Still want to work on putting a breach in the wall. I mean, I'd be curious if they are actually going to ch 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 if they are actually going to charge me because that's not something the AI usually does. Well, they are. And then means move my cavalry up. Start hit the Barbary Pirates. Drop all you guys into square. They've been broken. To be honest, let's just begin the assault. These camels are not long for this world. Barbary Pirates will be getting a bit of a hammering. A one gun keep dropping shrapnel shot onto the center. Where were we making our breach? There we go. So these Barbary pirates won't cause. They won't kick up much of a stink because they are not the greatest of troops um, when they're in combat anyway, despite how they look. I mean, they don't have very good defence at all. Come on, howitzer. Right in front of the gate would be excellent. No. go that's all my guns to drop shrapnel shot at the gate entrance i know my infantry is not optimally laid out but it does not need to be we're withstanding a cavalry charge let 
so most people can deploy straight into a more defensive role. Might even get my howitzer to help make the breach. You don't need to fire, so just set up set up your position like this. They may break the square on this flank, but it depends how well my infantry guards can repel them. Then again, there's only 11 camels to begin with. I would like to make a breach, because I, I just want one guaranteed way in. So to support the engagement against the camels on the flank. And there we go. Pivot these guys like so to maximise the amount of muskets pointing out the camels. General's bodyguard behind us. Charge of the Desert Warriors. General's bodyguards being caught out. Got my Nizam cavalry, and I've got my camels going in. Some Desert Warriors up on the walls that might cause us a bit of hassle. At least these men are have jumped on and surrounded the Desert Warriors, and because they are outside of the city, they will... die easily. Keep you guys back here. Misery should do well. Oh, good. Quick climb shot going in will help tip the odds. Send my Serrani to attack the Desert Warriors. Actually, now I'm going to have my infantry stand up, ready to engage the camels like normal. Or to engage them in musketry, because right now my Israeli, this Israeli, are going to be climbing. Actually, no, they're going to be engaged, so I may as well send my infantry in to back them up, send up a new unit of infantry. Okay, let's try Get my gunners engaging the flank, engaging the men up on the wall, sorry. Those desert warriors aren't long for this planet. So let's get some infantry guards down off the wall. Scale the wall. Those men can just avoid the conflict on the wall and charge the center. These Israeli are going to knock out the Desert Warriors in due course. Plenty of units to feed into the centre here. Where are my guards over here? Just drop into a square in front of them. To be honest, you guys may as well do the same as well. The men on the walls are about to be Annihilated. General's been killed. Let's just run you guys off the wall. Don't worry about that last desert warrior. 
The squares here are going to do some work to stop all my artillery from firing. The squares will hold and do some good damage against the camel nomads. Come on, kill this nasty desert warrior. Which, or at the very least, I want you to stand here. so they can fire into the combat. These men are assaulting the Desert Warriors. So if I can time this right... No, I tried to. I wanted to try to get there before the Amazons hit me, but I couldn't leave the central point. So they're only Amazons; they'll fall quickly enough. There we go. There we go, and they've all broken, except for you fellows. You probably will not stand for long. I mean, they are veteran desert warriors in which case then I'm going to speed up time ah the volley saw them off there we go Morocco is secured I mean we did lose men but there we go Morocco is ours this army's vanished so let's repair some buildings got some repairs on the go let's upgrade we don't need a shipyard here because we've got Cadiz 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 got some galleys upgrade the water mill upgrade the farm upgrade the roads so they only kind of don't like us so the army's going to replenish Oh, nuts. I didn't mean to cancel that, but I don't think it matters anyway. Let's recruit some Janissary. Ooh, I probably want some artillery, really. Ah, oh, let's get an organ gun. Can only get two of them, can't I? Yeah. Organ gun and the 24-pounder. They'll go join this army. Morocco is destroyed, so the number of nations we've got is, ting is slowly trending downwards. We've only got three major powers. We're going to declare war on Savoy, which means we're going to lose our trade partner. But they only provide us about 9,000 a turn. I mean, they're allied with the Mughals and we're at war with them anyway. So now, Saeed Mehmet put the capital under siege. Let's stack up the battle with our men. Let's see if you can get past those men. No. Ooh, but they do... Uh... So if I fought this battle, it would draw in the reinforcements, but not the men in the capital. But that would not be as interesting of a battle, I think. So even though these guys could win, um, I'm still going to break, pull them back. Because I'd rather fight this battle. That's what have we got. Well, I mean, we outnumber them. And we've got the qualitative advantage. So... Uh, don't rate their chances, they have no artillery. Lots of militia, lots of line infantry. This would be a good fight. They have no defences either, so it's going to be a field battle. Um, but as usual, the case will be destroy the first army, then as their reinforcements are coming in in single file, then we pick them off and destroy them as well. I think, well, 
Sometimes these battles where I just surround them, I think, oh, I don't really want to fight it, so I'm bottle them up. But there are times like now, there's a definite real value in freeing up armies, and I can show you that after the battle. If I go over to India, we have an opportunity to exploit and do a bit of a breakout, but actually, because we don't have the troops, I can't cover... I can't cover my uh, position. Um... So I think what I want to do is I want to keep these separate, but I think I want to take this hill. So let's put some Israeli and Nizim in the centre. They have no artillery. Let's put some Janissaries and Wolfman on one flank. Not worried that the riflemen have cut my position in half because I'm going to deploy them separately. Got my janissaries. And I've got a whole bucket load of good cavalry that's turned fire well off the Delhi horsemen. Let's get my general involved with the Circassian armoured cavalry. So this is where I want to be. I mean, this could all blow up in my face horrifically and things go really badly wrong and the enemy comes in from a really dodgy direction. Put the riflemen in the town. Heavy guns go there. Push up my howitzers. I mean, there are there are my right flank, my left flank is a bit at risk. Let's move my cavalry more out onto the flank. Let's get my janissaries a bit close to the action. My general go over onto the right. I don't want them to be right in front of these this heavy artillery. Even then I could probably do with pushing my line up a bit more, but I don't want to do that until my guns are in a bit of a better position. I might push my riflemen up just to skirmish with their line as we get ready. Looks like we are getting quite a lot of freedom to deploy. I'm still going to stick with what we've got. Riflemen stay in the town for now because I don't quite know what I'm going to do with them. Unlimber my heavy guns. They're going to be definitely firing round shot. Again, my front line here is not optimally laid out, but... I don't really mind. I mean, there's a, there's a limit. I can, I can still only push them up four ranks at a time. So my other riflemen should be engaging by now. They are. Oh, that's not good. Slimber up that artillery. I mean, it's we're really. This is really late to do this, but there's probably have to go further up, all the way over here. Okay, let's cast a shot. Pull my riflemen back to the main line. Quickline can focus on the left flank. These men slightly angle back. I'm cautious to not change my position too much because I don't actually know where the re enemy reinforcements are coming in from. They come with a quick line, you could probably. Yeah, you are landing in good places. 
Okay, I don't quite know where the enemy is entering the battlefield from. So it's a Cassian cavalry. Let's just run them up because they're in a good position to begin to hunt down the general's bodyguard. Probably need to deploy my cavalry on the left to help support that flank. Bearing in mind I am going to fire a bucket load of quick climb onto them. My can it my my guns start to chase down these enemy right in our right to our front. Let's retarget my howitzers to hit the cavalry to the rear. You guys hold fire. They're going to snipe on my armoured cavalry, and that's fine, but I wanted to hold fire to let them pass before my men engaged. My Janissary Musketeers will not take kindly to that. Okay, the cavalry's routed. No, my musket's come back. You men. Engage the 15th. Complete route, so continue the momentum. Smash into the 14th. So my armoured cavalry is going to hit that regiment of horse. Turn my rifleman fire it will off. Okay, let's call my recall my cavalry, turn fire it will off for my rifleman. Field artillery engage that regiment of horse with shrapnel shot. These 24 pounders can also use shrapnel shot. Good stuff. a lot. Okay, now you guys can fire at will. I mean, I think they were anyway. It's quite a comprehensive drubbing. The general's been killed. Come on, you men. Pour some shots into the 12th. Knock them off their horses. So where will the enemy come from? My Delhi horsemen are hidden, that's good. The right flank. Cavalry intercept the general. Twenty-four pound. My great gun still pushing up. Let's pull some more infantry over here. You are more than enough to knock out these remaining. Chaps, they're all, well, the militia aren't routing. Well, they are routing, but they're not. Okay, where are the others coming in? I suppose there's still, there are still lots of troops on the battlefield. So it's got my armoured cavalry involved. They can. Where's my. Can my howitzers. Limber up the howitzers. These men pick off the regiment of horse. My 
ideally, I run you up into the trees where you can hide. And not get hit by the fourth. We routed anyway. Okay. So these guns limber up. The mortars push up. Just to, in general, to a better place to protect the. Uh, Just to protect the the artillery, to be honest. So let's move my cavalry up here. Let's take this infantry and form a bit of a flank there. So I mean the guns, I don't quite know where I'm going to put all of you yet. Good God! Heavy artillery set up there, because there's some there. Okay, some of these men fall back. You guys for sure. The riflemen for sure. Janissaries. I should definitely not have limbered, unlimbered. Okay. Take position behind the wall. Not that I ever, ever do that, but... There go my great guns. some of the crew survives. Abandon your guns. Let's hope we can knock out the enemy. Okay, you guys. You guys push up to interfere with those cavalrymen. Get some of my armies to try and surround one. Let's try and surround one. Uh, oh, good, my gunners are actually routing successfully. New men and limber there. You guys engage that regiment of horse. You guys drop into square because that'll take out the provincial cav. You men are starting to mow down them. Keep us fire at will, keep the cavalry free. These units both drop, keep dropping quicklime. My objective is to try and knock out what this arm. Actually, you guys go up here. My janissaries need to get thrown into the mix. I don't like it, but. You actually support that battle there. You guys actually, actually, you guys both support the battle on the left. If we're going to start swarming this place with melee troops, the least we can do is make them break and rout instantly. Let's 
gonna be bloody. But at least we can do is try and swamp them and hold them up. You can actually stay, stay, maintain your course and also charge in. And then reload and engage the 27th. You men hit the second regiment. So this is gonna get bloody, but it's chiefly because we don't really. Well, I want. Well, I mean, what I want is to destroy one army at a time, but I don't think I'm gonna get that opportunity. The 78th are acting as bait to try and draw in some of the cavalry to make sure our howitzers are shooting useful targets. I'm, I don't have any any field artillery involved. I don't think they're going to be super useful. But at least we are. The tide is turning against the Savoyard. The 78th stays in the square. This rifle unit will do some good damage to the cavalry as they charge in. Lots of units are breaking at once. So this is not... This is going to cost us some men. But I need to keep my infantry just slogging. You men engage the second. I mean, they're reloading. Crouch down. So that will probably... Well, in reality, it will slow their rate of fire down quite a bit. You're waiting for this guy to reload. So we've got a bit of a sound bugs are back, but whatever. Hey, this is our other general's bodyguard. I mean, I, I generally do want the quick line fighting over here, hitting over here because it's a bit, it's a bit more of a pitched battle that we know and love. Big withdrawal. So let's push most of my lineup, but get these Janissary Musketeers over towards the fight. To be honest, if I put them here, that would be pretty neat. Firing volley after volley after volley into this block of Savoyard line infantry. Another cavalry unit. Keep the howitzers primed with new targets. This is the 14th. This is a fairly new unit. A very experienced unit at that. So what I'm interested to see is this. I think there's no more... Oh, that quick climb is helping out so much. I, mean, they're not, I, want, I want to see this. Again, they're not optimally lined up, lined up, but they're not. It's not going to add that many more muskets to the fight. But what this will chiefly do is cause them to rout. Potentially, there we go. Because the the morale effect of fire by rank is quite significant. The unit they're aiming at routed, that's why they all suddenly stopped and retargeted. So keep pushing up the men at the front, the riflemen can hunker down. I mean to be honest, now they've done the now they've done their firing. They're now going to push in and cause some more problems. There we go, they've all broken. 
They're all going to immediately leave the field. March these men over to the line here. Although it looks like that's the end of it. Yes! Close victory. That wasn't close. We had another like 6,000 troops behind. We had buckets of reserves. Look at that. We lost 1,700 men. True. Uh, some of these units got hammered a bit. But god damn, they lost 8,000 men. They've been pushed back. We take Turin. They disappear. So now... I can probably stand to do is take this army in Marseille, embark it on the Jebek, sail it over to Beirut, because that will be one of the quicker routes. So if I get this ship to Marseille itself. New men disembark. March across the central Middle East down towards Basra. Where some Jebeks are waiting. And it looks like Good. Ooh. I wanted to get them all out. There we go. So now those guys are out of the city. I can still see the orders flags. It's still going to take a few turns to get over there. But it's certainly going to help. And then what I'm going to do is take this third rate. Ooh, who are you missing? Or what are you missing? How it's uh, that's what you definitely what you want. Probably don't I don't I'm gonna drop a twenty four pound a foot unit and replace it with twenty four pound of howitzers, because I'm definitely gonna want howitzers if they're gonna go over to India. This army and Abdul Hamid Hoka. You climb aboard that brig. You men go over to the Americas, where we have lots of men swarming over. Have we got a madrasa here? Building one. Okay, let's upgrade one to a craft workshop, one to a happiness building, because we do not want to Spain rebelling. Move your one done. Your metal roads have been done. So, what I was talking about, about why a another army would be useful... And that is because, actually, well, I think I, yeah, I definitely want to pick up the roads upgrade here, although it's kind of not necessary because we're going to sail past it. You all, okay, you're a proper fleet. Let's sail you down. And just blockade one of their permanent ports. Um, so here in Nerun. Nerun. I've got an army here covering the bridge. But my spies shows me that Af Ahmedabad is would be a viable target, and they are within are they within reach? Just out of reach. But I don't want them to leave because then this army will march around and cross the bridge. I don't want them to do that. I'm not going to upgrade the artillery forts because I'm running low on money. Savoy have been destroyed. The armies in Iceland have been repaired. All my agents in Istanbul. Send them over to my last university. Four turns to get percussion shells. I said Savoy was captured. There's no universities to destroy, is there? Nope. Got an excellent priest converting the region. 
Same with Milan. Let's upgrade the pleasure gardens here. Actually, no. Yes. Rome slowly but steadily being converted. To be honest, I probably do want to keep one army behind to go and attack Bastia, or to be ready to attack Bastia. I mean, it's full of not great quality troops, so I'm not concerned. So we are in Antigua. We've got Santo Domingo. This army is going to want to carry on. Take Port Royal and Cuba. This force here in Antigua needs to uh, let this city chill out a bit because right now they are in resistance to foreign occupation 25 and we are suppressing it with 20 so i think technically if we let well if we left it'd be minus 15 or minus 14 depending on the turns we have a couple of other forces marching up that will definitely be a demand surrender job and we've got this iroquois force marching towards montreal but we have reinforced it from some of our quebec holdings in Quebec, you are going to get a madrasa in an attempt to try and uh, counter the impact of some of these priests. But I think that's everything. So also build a madrasa down here because I'm going to want to start firing agents into India. As all my spies continue to wind their way down towards the Middle East. Don't quite know where they're going up to the north, but whatever. The Iroquois haven't pushed, which is excellent because it means that Cuba, uh, Montreal is now is now repaired and can be used to help push. Oh, don't don't go anywhere. Good. When I say don't go anywhere, I mean I don't want them to land troops in the ports. I mean, I did leave that port exposed, and you saw how much of a danger it is. Oh, they did make it. Uh-oh. Uh, do we have anyone nearest near Esfahan? Probably not. Hmm. So that is a brilliant, brilliant example of why I'm so paranoid at keeping a boat or something in all of my ports because that throws you off balance quite significantly the pirates are going to be pirates but soon they will join the other factions as being a relic of the past they've just demolished one of my port repairs which is unfortunate but there we are i know esfahan did have a I've got another scholar. I know Esfahan did have an army of some infantry being recruited. Which they have. Natural Causes, one of our scholars. Port blockaded Colombo. Let's do some building work. There's quite a few places really I need to engage, but I want to keep keep my uh, income driving high because I, there's, I am likely to only need more men so uh, the more my tax income can grow can grow the better it's certainly useful it's certainly useful being able to unlock more useful regions demand the surrender fine I'll maintain that siege for now Keep on upgrading. Newfoundland. Oh yeah, Newfoundland hasn't had, didn't have a lot of money spent on it. Let's get another madrasa to try and get more agents into theatre where I want them to be. Um, you, Newfoundland might be ready. Yes, they are positive after we've left. So let's build a another sloop then we can deploy this force probably somewhere to try and fight the Iroquois can you guys all leave Quebec you can excellent so let's take this ship back up to the northwest Atlantic Ocean and then up here in Canada 
let's get some troops. Native bowmen, riskers of souls. Get a risker of souls and some pikes. And then get two Janissary Grenadiers. That's the start of another force that can go up and hit Moose Factory and we'll probably end up fighting a Huron at some point. But here comes the fleets. Oh yes. So many men. How many how many armies is that? Oh okay, I've got a guy here. This is a guy dropping off a spy. I will make sure I move the fleet, the army that's the fleet that has deployed an army. So the sloop is going to go into Bombay. You guys bottleneck these chaps at Bandar Abbas. You guys can steam towards Esfahan, although it's likely we are going to need a proper army to do that. Why are you going... Oh, because you're going up towards Afghanistan. But this army... I might set them to go towards Esfahan. Lots of troops, lots of stuff being recruited. So let's get you and you there into our ports. Let's leave no region unprotected. Can you guys leave Madrid? You can. Excellent. Let's march you down south. You guys need what I would like some better howitzers for you. Oh, I can probably pick those up in Lisbon. Oh, a bit of lag. All this armoured cavalry. Get down to Cadiz and we'll start to try and ship you over to the Americas. Second Band Janissary Riflemen. Just set them to run down towards the Middle East as well. Let's try and pick up whatever scattered infrastructure upgrades or uh, economic upgrades we've missed. You're still converting Archangelsk. Aha! Any spare shit? Oh, and we also have you. And we also have one. No, we don't. So this army. Back. You can go pick up this force and Ahmed is male. You are also going to sail to India. And we're going to move this sloop over to Malmo to keep it occupied. You want to build Jebek to occupy yourself. Okay, so Esfahan might be a bit at risk, but we've got a good chance at being able to throw them off. Melee attack 10, melee defense 11, my Nizam. Yeah. I've got one gun, so it's going to take them a long time to get in. But the thing to bear in mind is that they might. Well, I don't know whether they will or, will or won't go for us for hand, they might. Workers on strike. Workers on strike in England. Not anymore. On strike in Morocco. But if I exempt them from tax, they're okay. Okie dokie, so 
to be honest, that's going to be an auto resolve because that's. I'm getting to the point where I've, now where I've got real battles to fight, so the uh, the auto resolves don't really. Things like that don't really matter at this point. Build a madrasa. This is going to start to cut into my income. Let's push the pirates out. Good. Okay. I think that's. Oh, that's nearly everything. What I want to do is take you. Go hit Cam. Cam Kachwaha. Because I'd want to occupy this crossing. And I also need to start squeezing up here as well. So let's go. Knock out this smaller Mughal force. Those two armies that I've recently deployed into, or I will deploy to the Indias, that are on their way to the Indias. But they've got a... Uh... Oh, sorry, I've completely lost my train of thought. I've deployed those two armies into India. What I'm going to do is deploy them to the south. So they can threat, threaten Karnataka and give open up the uh, the southern flank of the Mughal Empire. Let's just take you guys, you, you, you. We're probably going to actually if we are if we're going to advance, then I mean it's we we see, outnumber them significantly, so we'll be able to get a good surround going. Keep my howitzers sort of forward. Group cavalry and camels. Granted, these are camel, these are ranged camel, or the camel gunners. They aren't quite, they aren't camel mercenaries. That's for sure. Uh, da, 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 where are you? Where are you? Where? Where did I put you? Oh, we ungrouped them. Ah, don't run. Uh, is there one behind? There is one behind. Oh well. Speed up time if I'm not running. Okay, maybe I do want to run. Especially over here. To be honest, this is going to be a short, sharp. Okay, let's crash my cavalry into the bowmen. Cavalry needs to push. So those bowmen, they march straight into my lines. Are those elephants? Yeah. I want my cavalry to hit the bowmen just to uh, clear them out of this entrenched position. get my cavalry in a good place to engage and destroy anyone left over. So do you want to start mopping up units? Ideally, my general will chase down the bowmen. My Mamelukes continue to push. Oh, holy moly. 
you guys. Shrapnel shot that general's bodyguard. You guys drop round shot on the other guys. There we go. Push these guys up to help face down the uh, face down the elephants. The elephants should not have last long because I've got my artillery here blasting them with <laughs> shrapnel shot. Granted, my guys did not like that very much at all. I mean, my gen. But my infantry can flee if they want. My cavalry just have a great time. knocking out whoever's left. Okay, General, Artillery. Blast them! Howitzers keep dropping. Push those guys up, they'll clear out the enemy. You guys push into the levee there. I mean, this is very much going to be the end of the levee, and I'm probably going to kill a bunch of my own guys in the charge. Sometimes these things have to be done. General won't be around for very long. Damn right, continue. So you guys clean out the dervishes. Hopefully those guys can gun down. Or if not, you charge down this unit of levy. Camels, 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 count. Doesn't matter, dervishes. Okay, you got him. Oh, my other cavalry's on the march. or well, they're doing something, so I'm going to get these guys past my front line. Then charge the dervishes. The general's done all that he can. And now it's everyone after the general's bodyguard. But they will successfully rout. Didn't manage to kill any of the generals. But we've sent them back with their tail between their legs. With a resounding victory for our troops. Look at that. Pow. Back you men go. Ooh, so if we can replenish and get to here. Don't enter the zone. So I'd love to get them to, to fight a few uh, close in battles there. So Ismail Nureddin. Push against them. And I will fight that. I'll probably fight that in the next episode because we are pretty much at an hour. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for the destruction of another small Mughal army and a general push on the northern flank of Afghanistan. Cheers, everyone.